Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Respected brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One of the frequently asked questions is what are the limits of a child's obedience to their parents in Islam? In answering this question, we have to differentiate between three types of situations. Situation number one is when the command of a parent to a child entails a violation of an Islamic ruling. For example, if the parent commands their child to abandon salah, to not pray their five daily prayers, or if the parent commands their son or daughter to cut off their relative, or to break their fast in the month of Ramadan without a valid excuse. In these examples, in any other similar ones, it is not permissible for the child to adhere to their parents' command. Because we have a general rule in Islam that states it is not permissible to obey anyone at the expense of violating an Islamic ruling. The second type of situation is when the command of a parent stems from their love, care, and compassion for their child. For example, if the parent says to their son or daughter, I don't want you to drive in the snow, the son or daughter must adhere to that command. Because this command stems from care for the child, from compassion for the child and their interest. The parent fears that if their child drives in the snow, they may get into a car accident, God forbid. Another example, if the son or daughter chooses to observe a recommended fast, that which is not wajib, in July, for example, where it is a very long summer day, and the parent, out of compassion, out of care for the child, says, son, daughter, I don't want you to fast that day. The child must adhere to their parents' command. The third type of commands are those commands that stem from a negative characteristic within a parent. For example, if the parent is miserly and they don't like to see their children give other people, in other words, when they see their children generous to others, it bothers them. It bothers them not because of care or compassion for their children, rather because of that negative characteristic, and that is miserliness. In this case, the son or daughter does not have to adhere to such commands. For example, if the father or mother says to the child, I don't want you to attend the Islamic center to commemorate Ashura or to attend the Majalis during the month of Ramadan or any other occasion in Islam, just because the parent has a problem with that Islamic center, a personal issue with the people who go to that Islamic center or with the people that speak in that Islamic center. And commanding the son is not because of care for them or care for their interest. Rather, it is for that very personal issue or personal reason that has nothing to do with the child's interest at this point or in that example and similar examples, the child is not required to obey and adhere to the command of their parents. So we see there are three types of situations. The first situation is when the command entails a violation to an Islamic ruling and obviously it is not permissible to obey the parents in such commands. The second is when the command stems from care, from compassion that the parents have towards their children. And this, the child must obey their parents' command. And the third is when the command does not violate an Islamic ruling, but at the same time, it is not for the sake of the interest of a child. It's not out of compassion and care for the child. Rather, it is just for some personal negative characteristic. At that point, 
the child is not required to adhere to that command. But we must remember, my dears, that in all cases, in all cases, in all situations, even in cases where we don't have to obey our parents, we must always be kind to them. We must always honor them and respect them. Our beloved and mighty Lord, Allah, exalted and glorified, says in the Holy Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإن جاهداك على أن تشرك بما ليس لك به علم فلا تطعهما وصاحبهما في الدنيا معروفا And if they urge you to ascribe to me a partner which you have no knowledge of do not obey them but keep their company honorably in this world May Allah grant us all the success to be kind and respectful to our parents. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina wa nabiyina Muhammadin wa alihi tayyibin al-tahirin.